Okay, so today I'll be performing an ECG on a dog. I have Lola here and Meg is restraining her for me. Once we get into the procedure, she's gonna hold her so that her legs are not touching each other and that they're parallel to her body. Her body's laying flat and her head will be facing straight forward. That's the uh, preferred position when you're doing an ECG on an awake dog. So, um, just gonna talk about an ECG a little bit. So ECG, it stands for electrocardiogram. So this is actually measuring the electrical impulses that are being given off by the heart as it beats. The leads are just touching my elbow, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so it's just measuring the electrical impulses that are given off from the heart when it beats. And then the, I'm going to have three leads on her, and as the leads are on her, they're going to collect the in electrical impulses from her heart and gather up and send back to the machine, and it'll process, it'll put uh, heart complexes on the machine for us. Um, so the complexes consist of a P, Q, R, S, T, and U, um, the waves. That's how they read those. Um, a lot of dogs have a normal sinus arrhythmia whenever we're using this, so it's possible that the um, complexes will kind of go with the way she's breathing, um, so you might see a difference in that. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have my leads here, so I'm using a black, red, and a white lead. I do not have the green lead. I'm just going to use three. Amy, um, quick question for you. Do I have her put on the correct side for this? I wasn't yes, sure. Yes, so yes. Um, she's going to have her restraint in right lateral recumbency. Okay. So that way, when I put the leads on, everything's parallel. Um, so this is a good position for me. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yep. So um, Meg's going to go ahead and hold her for me. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the leads. Um, so a trick that one of um, the doctors here taught me is um, when you're thinking of where the leads are placed, it is um, right side down. You go from the right. So it's snow over grass, so white, green, and then smoke over flame, so black and red. So I'm going to go ahead and get those hooked up. I have my white lead, so that's going to go just below the elbow, closer to the heart. So I'm going to pull some of the skin right there by the elbow and place that. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my uh, black lead. And that's going to go on the left arm, same position, right on the skin, right by the elbow, closest to the heart. Lola's a very good girl. And then same here, I'm going to hook right just above the um, stifle joint, uh, closer to the body. There go. Okay, and I have my alcohol. I'm going to use this, I'm going to apply this to the leads. They're already starting to pick up a little bit, but applying the alcohol will help um, tighten the contact to the body so that the electrical impulses can really be picked up well. So alcohol is applied. Um, I'm going to give the machine a second just to pick up. So it's just giving us some alarms right now because it's trying to adjust to her body. Um, it's telling us the heart rate's too low. That's not her real heart rate. <laughs> um, it's just kind of trying to pick up to the body. So um, as it's doing that, I want to make sure that my leads are in good placing, um, which they are. They're alcohol. Also, Meg is holding her once again so that her legs aren't touching. None of the metal of the leads are touching either. So just want to make sure everything is hooked up well. Also going to check my um, hookup to the actual machine and then make sure that these are all plugged in here as well. Um, so this machine's actually picking up the respiratory rate as well. I have the other um, monitoring parts, the alarms turned off just because we're not using them right now, like the SpO2 or the blood pressure cuff, um, just so it's not alarming in the background. Um, I will turn those on before they use it for surgery again, though. Um, so it looks like everything's picking up pretty well. Um, you can hear a little bit of a difference in her heart rate. The sinus arrhythmia is showing a little bit as it'll, her heart rate will pick up a little bit as she breathes. So I'm going to go ahead and listen with my stethoscope just to confirm the uh, reading that we're getting here on the ECG machine. perfectly. Um, it's beating just, her heart's beating just with the beep on the machine, so everything sounds great. Um, so I'm just going to give it another second just to make sure everything um, stays stable. Good, good. Good, good. There you go. She's got a nice slow heart rate. She's nice and calm. This is her owner restraining her, so that might be part of it. <laughs> So 
normal heart rate on a, uh, she's a medium sized dog, so I would say normal heart rate for her is going to be somewhere between 60 to the 120s. Um, so she's at a nice low, steady heart rate. I'm going to go ahead and take another listen just to confirm. sounds really good. Um, so um, everything's hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off my machine and dislocate my leads. So the power button's here. I'm going to go ahead and just shut this off and dislocate my lead so that way Miss Lola can sit up. And I'll make sure I clean these with um, normal disinfectant spray and um, clean up my table. But Lola did a great job. She's going to get a cookie. <laughs> Yes, good girl. <laughs> All right, so that is how you perform an ECG on a dog.